guys welcome back to my channel i am maridalia and this is marith her if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back i make mostly fashion content or i attempt to i'm trying to stay consistent so today i wanted to talk to you guys about my handbag my never full handbag my first designer piece turns five today i got her on february 5th 2016 so this is she and she was my first big splurge um I had gotten, it was income tax season, and I was a student at the time, so I got a bigger return than regular people, so I was like, I'm gonna do it. Um, I did it, and I remember that my mom asked me, like, why is everybody so excited about your purse? Is it expensive? And I said, yes. And she said, like, like $200? And I said, no. She said, more? I'm like, yeah. She's like, like 350 and I was really scared. I wasn't living at home anymore. I was 24 at the time, going on 25. But I knew that my mom would freak out. You know, I grew up with a mom who lives paycheck to paycheck and she was gonna freak out. So I told her how much I paid. It was $13 and change after taxes. I got her at the Louis Vuitton store that's located in Paramus at the Garden State Mall in New Jersey. Um, and it was $1,300 and change after tax at the time for the medium model. These days, they retail for $1,500. So they actually went up in price about $200 in the last five years. Um, so I also got her with my initials right here. So I'm gonna tell you guys the process um, when I got it. And I'm gonna show you close-ups. What does she look like now? I emptied the bag. I have everything laid out here. I emptied the bag for the sake of this video because this is my everyday purse. So, um, how much do I use it? I use it at least five to six days out of the week. So I have been for the past five years. And sometimes I'll get sick of the big purse and transfer my most important things into my Gucci crossbody bag, and then. I'll go, you know, back to this one. Like I need all my stuff. So basically for the last five years, I've been using this purse at least three weeks out of the month for five years consistently. So um, she's a little worn, she's a little loved, but she looks great. Um, This is the, the second bag that comes with it, as you guys know, if you didn't, it brings this. So it is a good investment for the money. You get two bags, you get a clutch and you get the big bag and you can hook it inside and you can use this as an extra additional bag. And it also has the compartment inside. And you can also use this as a clutch. You can remove it from the inside of the bag and wear it like this. This also has like a little pocket inside, so it, it really is like a mini clutch. So you can use this. Um, she's traveled with me to Florida. She's traveled with me to North Carolina. Overnight bag, um, if I'm going to Pennsylvania or anywhere that I'm going. She's traveled with me to Dominican Republic a couple times. And so like at the resorts, if I go to the resort, I take my big purse and then in the evening, you know, you wanna take your phone and stuff and your room card with you around the resort to dinner and stuff. So I would just use a little clutch and wrap it around my wrist. So that works out, but I don't use this as much. I currently don't have it inside my purse. I used to have it inside my purse and I took it out to have more room. Um, she's carried my MacBook. She's gone through hell and back and you guys will be able to tell what I'm talking about when I show you the inside because the lining looks disgusting to be realistic. The lining just looks, it looks disgusting. I i wish I had like a purse vacuum, um, but you wouldn't be able to tell looking at the exterior. So she has a little um, scuffing and stuff, but she looks really good considering that I got her five years ago. She's traveled, she's carrying my MacBook. She's held up pretty well, so she's definitely worth the money. And fun fact, I have my initials on it. This is complimentary. This is included with your purchase. This is free. 
and they have many colors and they also have different types of fonts and sizing so the day i went to purchase my bag i told them i wanted monogram they said okay so i selected what i wanted i told them how i wanted my initials which are mh um and then i came back within two hours to pick it up and i felt really bougie they served me they gave me some career um sparkling water while i waited for them to pack it for me it was definitely an experience you know like you get what you pay for so you're paying for top service and that's what you get and also the thing with this is if anything ever breaks you can always take it for a repair however a girlfriend of mine recently broke this part off of hers she's had it for like i want to say a year or two longer than me so hers is about seven years old and she wears that her purse has really been to hell and back she also has children so her purse is always really packed but she has a really bad habit when she grabs it off the car grabbing it from here instead of the handle so she ended up breaking off the handle so when she took it in for repair they told her that in her model she has the other basic check um the other basic pattern which is the the lv letters so what they told her was that they no longer have the same leather available for this repair that goes with it so it would have been two different colors it would have been a different color than the rest of the bag so if she wanted it to look even she would have had to replace all of these three pieces so she you know went home thought about it um i'm not sure exactly the decision she ended up making but that is something to be on the lookout for don't grab your purse by here that's another thing if you guys didn't know this bag you can like you know use it like this so you can make it look like a different bag by squeezing the sides in which is very convenient i usually never wear it like that unless it's snowing or raining so i will tuck it in so no water or snow comes inside my purse and gets my items wet because this purse doesn't have a zipper but other than that she's held up pretty well I definitely think she's worth the money and another thing about the initials that I was gonna mention is I work in um, consignments in luxury consignments and even if you have your initials on a high piece item you can still sell it it doesn't lose its value because someone might buy it that has the same initials or some would rather pay that amount of money for the secondhand aspect of it than getting it retail off the store. So never be scared to put your initials on it because you can still, in the future, it's still an investment. You can still sell it. So don't let that discourage you. So enough rambling. Um, I still have the original box and receipt they are at my mom's house. Um, and I have my dust bag which I always keep around because I never really use it because I always I'm always using the purse but I usually do keep this in here um, but other than that I always like to keep my dust bags with the matching purses so let me show you guys close up close up shots of how the handles look now the lining the hardware the base the clutch and everything so you guys can see what i'm talking about so this is the dust bag and this is the clutch so this is what it looks like the clutch has gotten somewhere out of the handbag but mostly it was kept inside the handbag the hardware has some tarnishing from wear i don't know if you guys can see that i'm trying to focus as so does the zipper which for five years still looks pretty good and then the lining has some wear as well as you guys can tell if you guys didn't know fun fact the serial number for the neverfull actually comes inside the clutch not inside the actual handbag so this is where the piece of leather with the code actually comes so this is the lining some wear some tarnish now the handbag i'm gonna start with the exterior so the hardware naturally has some tarnish 
from where, but considering that I, you know, bumped into walls and stuff with her, got in crowded buses, I think that the hardware is doing pretty well. It is losing a little bit of color, but it's very, very unnoticeable. And this is the other side. As you guys can see, it has a little bit of tarnish, but it's not too bad. Now the leather, this particular leather does hold pretty, pretty well. As you guys can see, it has some wear and tear, but it's very shiny. It hasn't lost its shine at all. And back to the exterior, this is the base. I've sat her on floors. So this is how the corners look. It has basic scratching, a little scuff here or a stain. But considering that I wear this bag, keep in mind that I wear this bag every day, basically, for five years. I think that it's held up pretty well. Where you will see more scuffing is on the exterior, particularly these areas. I do sometimes, you know, bump into walls, concrete, bus stops, etc. So it does have some scuffing, but you can only see it if you really focus it, um, focus on it up close, because from afar, it's very difficult to tell. And this is the front of the bag. But if you look at it from afar, it's very difficult to tell. The lettering has also held up really, really, really well. It basically has no scratching, no scuffing, and it's still very shiny. It's in gold, so it's held up very beautifully. So it has the stitching. And then here is the back of the bag. The back has a little bit less scuffing because this is usually the part that is against my body. So I assume that this that's why this side looks better. But you can always, you know, if you get sick of the scratches on the other side, just wear it this way. So the handles do have a lot of wear, but not necessarily too much, but they do have some wear and tear, especially at the top, which I would feel is the part that stretches the most from holding all the weight onto your shoulder. So it does have some tarnish, but you can, you can barely see it, but it does, let me see, what's the best way to focus this? As you guys can see, it does have some wear at the top. Mild discoloration, but very, very hard to see. As so does this side, the other one. And this is the back. This, again, is the part that goes on your arm. So this is what carries all the weight at the top. So that does have naturally some tarnish and of course it has some wear from wearing like this. And this is the hardware on the interior. And this is the lining. Oh, of course it does also have some wear here by the handles on the interiors but you can't see it from the outside only from the interior the outside looks pretty good actually 
it's held up pretty pretty well considering that i wear this bag every day for five years and then the interior i told you guys please don't judge please don't judge i've spilled stuff here water bottles not necessarily makeup or pants i'm really good with that but i have some spill here i think one of my body splashes also spilled here i did shake it off um when i took everything out but of course you always have some you know stuff accumulated in your purse but considering that i put this purse through hell and back i think it's held up pretty well so this is the interior and this is the pocket interior which is made out of like a very interesting material i don't want to say that this is the same material as the inside or i think it is but i feel like it has a heavier coat and then it has the zipper which has held on pretty well actually this zipper works beautifully no damage and this is the interior And again, like I mentioned, even a handbag like this, if you clean it up a little, you can still sell a handbag like this to a company that buys your secondhand goods because it does have a lot of value. Because some people can afford a $1,300 bag, a $1,500 bag, but they can definitely most likely afford a $700 bag, an $800 bag. So that is definitely something that to keep in mind. So it is a little stain, but that's the interior. You can always take this to Louis and they actually can replace the whole lining for you if you would like. That's the service that they do offer. But yeah, that's the interior, that's the exterior. I think she's in one piece considering all the love that I've given her in the past five years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys know enough information if it's convenient to you, like something to think about, now you know more facts. So you can be more educated whether this is a bag that you would like to invest in or not and also how it holds up because it is a very pricey bag to get. I mean, for a regular person, it's $1,300. That's a lot of money. It's big bucks. So um, I think it's definitely worth the money if you want to treat yourself to one. Um, and I also think that if you're going to invest in a bag like this, unless you already have this one and you wanna get a second one, then go for the light colored pattern. But personally, I wanted the dark because I feel like this pattern matches more with everything. And also it doesn't get dirty as quickly because you know, lighter um, leathers tend to discolor and turn yellowish, which is why I like the brown. And this was the perfect buy for me. And good thing that I got this color. I was thinking about getting the gray and beige one when I went in, but I'm glad I went with the dark because I do use it a lot and it would have looked way different than it does. So I think that that definitely did me a big favor, getting the dark colors. It definitely worked in my favor. So that's something to think about but thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um i encourage you to subscribe i'm gonna try to stay more consistent and upload more videos let me know in the comments if you want this bag if you have this bag or if you're thinking about getting this bag and also make sure you follow me on instagram i will link that down below thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time bye